Have you ever wondered, am I the Welcome to Who's the a grinder podcast where we're not just talking, we're getting into it. I'm your host, Katya, and I'm here to probe deep into your messiest, juiciest stories. So bend over, ladies, because I want to see the receipts. Who's the Today's guest is our favorite material girl. Ugh. Material, did I, did I even come out yeah, right? Yeah, you did. Okay, okay. Today's guest is our favorite Material Girl, an iconic MC mastermind working with the likes of City Girls, Lotto, and the original Material Girl, Madonna. Hello. Saucy just joined the cast of the latest season of Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta. Please welcome one of rap's biggest sensations and hip hop's loudest queer activist, Saucy Santana. Ooh. Yeah, clap. Where's the noise? Clap, please. Yeah. <laughs> pitiful, pitiful. And this is my boyfriend, David. We're not speaking right now, but he will fart in your mouth for $5. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm excited because I want to talk about music. Mm. I want to talk about music. I, I put on your uh, track the um, the booty and then the remix of booty in the dressing room. Mm. And I went down on the floor and did push-ups. Oh, my. Wait, push-ups? Uh-huh. It didn't make you maybe like a bow? It made you do push-ups? No, I was going to twerk, but I don't have no uh-huh. meat. Uh-huh. So I don't, it was like, it would be like flinging bony Bones around, so I did push ups instead. Okay. And it was amazing. Are you a top or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, listeners and viewers might be interested to know we um, our legal department gave you a lot of grief for bringing all those labels in here. Yes, this is just my you know sorry, daily th- life. Sorry that you're rich. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. The material girl have to live up to my name. So. Yeah, sorry that I you came in here balling and iced no, out. <laughs> I have no like. Regular clothes. <laughs> One of my friends just pointed that out. It was like, where's the grocery store outfit? I'm like, the grocery store outfit. Balenciaga sweatsuit or something. Yeah. Full, all uh, rings, chains, everything. Yes. Do you, have you ever been, has anybody ever stolen jewelry from you? Oh my God, no. Really? No, but when the train come over, I do hide it. I was going to say, I hope you got a good, like, yeah. a secure hiding spot <laughs> for all the ice. We were talking a little bit about Kaya, and you know, we were talking about queer activism. It's kind of a bummer when the, the artists that we listened to growing up mm-hmm. kind of come out and show their later in their career yeah. which happens a lot yeah and um, I think that happened with Kaya she just I mean what happened with her I'm not sh- I don't I don't really know because being from Florida Kaya is like one of our influences we yeah. grew up listening to Kaya and Trina um, Jackie oh, I O love Trina you know, being from down south, I think Little Cam and Foxy was more like when I was up north, when I was mm-hmm. a kid, I used to live in Bridgeport, but mm-hmm. I moved from Bridgeport to Perry, Florida when I was 10. Okay. Where's so that? I, where, where in the Perry, state? Florida is like, it's an hour outside of Tallahassee. So I most of the time tell people I'm from Tallahassee because okay. and that's, nobody knows that's up north, right? Yes, that's North Florida. Yep. So I feel like once I became like 10 and just, I was in, I was going to the sixth grade, I'm in middle school, I'm really starting like my childhood and, okay. you know, I'm being influenced by different things and... We had Kaya and Trina and Jackie O. So to fast forward and be an adult and just see all the crazy weird shit she says. It's yeah. like, girl, I don't know. But then she has her own team of gays. So it's just like, yeah. I don't know what. I don't and maybe know. a generational thing too. You never yeah. know because even. But that's Florida girls anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. They, they talk a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. I mean, I've I mean, I was, I've been to Florida long enough to know, or enough times to know that there's rivalries between the cities, yeah, just like my, in anywhere. Yeah, it is. But now I'm seeing a Florida girl, once they get mad at you, they about to call you. Some type of derogatory <laughs> story. You What's your favorite you city in Florida to visit? My favorite city in Florida to visit is probably Fort Lauderdale. Oh, yeah. It's real hood. <laughs> like, all the boys got it. gold teeth. They gold got, teeth? Yeah, gold I teeth. I love gold teeth. They got big gold Cubans. They okay. got, like, chalk in their hairline. They dress hairline. just... <laughs> <laughs> For a lot of deals, a lot of gay people there. A lot of gay people there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's I, right there. It's like right a little outside of Miami. Yeah, I I ran into um I stayed at a gay resort in Fort Lauderdale. Had two threesomes, a younger couple, older couple. Then I ran into Terry Mugler. Literally uh-huh. bumped into him. He was staying at the hotel. He looked like um he just finished a threesome too. I probably uh, many threesomes. <laughs> yeah, many probably orgy. And oh he gosh. was like so because he had a lot of he had a lot of pl- plastic surgery mm-hmm. and he looked. It was so intense. I was scared and then a little bit turned on, but mostly scared. Uh-huh. Um, talk about Madonna. I mean, I have... Working with Madonna was so a f***ing fab. Like, um, I ate sushi for the first time with Madonna. I was yeah. too admit, scared, like, scared to admit it, so I was... Yeah. I was going through it with the, chop, with the chopsticks. <laughs> I can't use... I actually don't know how to use chopsticks. You know, I'm a hood <laughs> Like, just give me the sushi and just... <laughs> Dump it like a chicken nugget. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not? So, um, I feel like it she was wouldn't so mind fun. that. She likes spicy tuna. Oh, okay. The restaurant starts with an M. I don't know if anybody knows. In LA? Yes. 
Um, I can't remember. Um, she likes it. Had the room has to smell like peppermint. What? It's like peppermint steamers. What? Um, and I just remember us. Um, the room has to smell like peppermint. The room has to smell like peppermint. She has like a peppermint steamer. I remember um, her going over different things to say in the remix, and something that stood out to me. She was like, "A, a, a rock hard will make my rainy day," and I was like, "Oh, she is a." She is a. I was like, oh my god! I, it, it caught me completely off guard. It was yeah. so, it was so fun, and then just I'm um, having rehearsals with her and seeing how hard she works. Like oh, yeah. Madonna rehearses in heels full, gl and yeah, full, full glam. Everything. It's like yeah. you come to rehearsal as if showtime in five minutes. That's so and crazy. I was gagging. I was like, wait, six hundred like, years old, and, and I sweat full. bad, so I'm like, I don't want to keep sweating out my outfit. Right, 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 like, uh, -uh right. when I put this outfit on. I want to be on the stage and right. then get that one wearing my yeah. hair. Yeah, damn. It was just so amazing. And it was, I, it didn't really even set into me to afterwards. I was like, I got a song with Madonna. These can never <laughs> name my life. <laughs> Please. My God. What's your, I, I mean, I'm trying to think of my favorite Madonna. I mean, my favorite Madonna era is probably like 90s bedtime story um, because I was produced by Babyface. Mm -hmm. And he really got her together on the production side, the backing vocals and the, the arrangements and everything was uh -huh. so beautiful. But do you have a favorite Madonna era or like a uh, or like a um, or hey song? Mr. DJ, oh yeah, music. Turn around, yep. get up, I'm... that's a good album. Yeah, that's I. I was still living in up north in Connecticut. I would come home from school and turn on my MTV TRL. Yep. Um, that's when like Madonna had kids, Britney Spears. That was more oh, my right. era of, yes, of Madonna. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and I just always thought she was a bad. Like, and Madonna's just so fierce and yeah. fearless. Like, I love that. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's been in the game. She's been, she's probably the most famous person in the world for, I'd say, 25 years. That's what I said. Yeah, I was true. like, I was like, I, if, if you think of who do you have a feature with, like, the most I famous woman Madonna, in the world. The who most could famous. Top me? <laughs> Nobody. Who because, could top Madonna? Because even if you didn't listen to her music, if you were a, no matter if you were like a French politician or an Indonesian businessman or a child in Zimbabwe, yeah. you know who Madonna is. You know was. who Madonna is. Yeah. Don't play. Yeah, it's crazy. And um, she's, the fact that she's still not only like, I'm so glad that her new concert is going to be the hits. Yes. You know, I saw her last show and it was, uh, she brought this like 30 person uh, Portuguese folk band out. And uh -huh. I was like, what the f is going on here? Um, it's going to be fierce. I'm excited for it. Um, so, Grew up in Florida, Connecticut, then Florida. Yes. And then here in LA, since how long? No, I live in Atlanta. You live in Atlanta. I, so you've been to Swingin' Richards? Is it still there? No. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't think that was my Atlanta era. Okay. okay. <laughs> I I've heard of it, though. It's great. I don't think it's still there, but there's a, a, a stripper. I was at the uh, sitting at the, the, the table, and uh, he said, don't move. And he took his dick out. And his was about 12 inches long. Uh -huh. He whacked the brim of my hat and it flew off my head about 30 feet back. Oh, wow. And I was like, I like had a shaking hand that pulled out a 20. <laughs> it was so intense. Oh, wow. I've never was, been to Swing Rich. So do you ever been to a strip club? I heard it, yeah. I normally go to girl strip clubs. Okay. Um, I have, Atlanta does have like the hood mm -hmm. strip clubs. Okay. The boys, they normally have on like their Jordans, do rag, hairy booty. Oh, it's not God. really that. It's, you know, it doesn't float my boat, but um, so somebody you prefer likes a shaved. It. Yeah, me too. Like my 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 friend David here. Yeah, all here like it got cancer. You <laughs> <laughs> bald head like it got cancer. Period. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay, so uh, question: Have you ever, or are you on the grid, meaning grinder, jacked any um, hookup app? Currently, not anymore. Not anymore. I Are you taking? Like, I think um, she's she's discreet. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking. Hey, <laughs> uh, bitch. I'm single and ready to mingle, but I got okay. a man. You know, like, oh, you know how it's like wait, 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 wait. You're single, ready to mingle, but you got a man. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know like, kind of like that's the that's my man. But okay. You know. Oh, can I say that? I'm sorry. Of course, you can say anything. Okay. You can say anything. Yeah, that's not my man. But you know, I'm, you know, I'm still in the field. So. Okay. <laughs> you got a little bit of time. Okay. The extracurriculars. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I haven't been on those apps since maybe 2018. Okay. My first um, song, "Welcome Like a Dog," got big in 2019. Okay. And then it just was like, oh my God, so I was in So I was like, oh, I can't really. Um, oh, that's right. So if you're, I can't <sighs> really do these link ups no more because <laughs> you got to wear a little <laughs> wig. Every, yeah, everybody knows who the. <laughs> but my look is just so distinct. My voice, everything yeah. is just like. Yeah, 
to be having a camera set up or something. Uh-uh. Oh. It's like, no. What would you do if you, at the end of a hookup, you got, you realize there's a four camera set up in every corner of the room? We would tear that <laughs> Down. Oh my gosh, really? it would go down. Yes, I do not play this. I know. I've, I've heard about because everybody films, you know, OnlyFans. OnlyFans and yeah. stuff. And they do it like, you know, there's all types of setups, whether it's I like. I dated so many OnlyFans boys. Really? <laughs> 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 what was the best and worst? Um, I mean, you don't have to name names. I never be- none of them. Oh. I never okay. Wayne, I never Drake. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I think the, the, the best one was probably. Kai, Kalamine, you know Kalamine? I don't. don't Kalamine, it was so funny because when I first had started um, dating him, like at first it was just I was famous. He was like this one of the biggest porn stars at the moment. I was like, this would be a gag. Like, so I sent him the new dog walker, but she got a porn star boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, next thing I know, at first it was just supposed to be a key. Then it started getting serious. (laughs) Uh, Next thing I know, like he got a daughter. I used to be like at home helping his daughter with. Homework at the school, like Damn. all his, I'm like the favorite cousin. When I visit him, his mm-hmm. mama loved me. I was like, this stuff turned into a whole, you know, shebang, but I'm yeah, just yeah. that girl. So, you know, once <laughs> be around me, it's just like, <laughs> they can't help but fall in love. They have no choice. <laughs> How long did that go on for? Him? Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 um, now, what, do you have, what is your, pro, like back in the day, I mean, not anymore, obviously, but what would, what would your profile look like? How would you, My how profile would, you would give dark skin, thick, <laughs> probably a G scoring up my <laughs> white toes, long okay. nails. Oh, Back then, I used to wear like these big 25 millimeter lashes. Jesus. Go eyeshadow, probably like a Damn. lip. Okay. Okay. Nick Minaj wing. Okay. I'm in a fresh hair, I probably had like a bodysuit or something. Okay. Or like a G scoring or something. Something, <laughs> something up my. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. My God, that's amazing. Um, favorite, what's your favorite? Um, do you have like a pump up song before a show? I think right now, like what gave me hype is um, F- My Baby Dead. Um, I, Wait, um, F- F- My dead. Baby Dead? Yes, bow, 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 bow. That's that booty meat. You don't know that song by Sexy no, Red? No. Oh, you sleep. <laughs> and come on, she'd be like, F- My Baby Dead. I was like, Oh, yes. That's Wait, my, F- my Baby move. Dad or Dead? F- my Baby Dead. Baby daddy. My baby dad. Say Cause it again. I'm so delusional in my head, so mm-hmm. really like my n- is like my baby daddy. Okay. So I just feel like that's my baby daddy, like f- baby dad, like t- on my face. F- I'm with the shit I'm outside. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're keeping it PG for the folks at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Um what's the wor- what's some of the um curious about some of the like what's the worst hookup? I mean or the most awkward that you can think of that has happened over the years? The know. most awkward hookup? Or yeah, or like... What is the worst? What was the worst? It was like... Oh, no. Oh. The worst. Yeah. So, um, I was so grown off the chain. I remember we used to, um, like, be so bad stealing this stuff. I had stole me, like, a little gas car. I went to the <laughs> gas station. Had got um, gas up. <laughs> I was writing this boy on one of the apps. <laughs> So he like, pull up on me. So I'm like, okay, period. So <laughs> um, fresh out the shower, lace the baby powder, get myself together. I might need about an hour. Okay. So I pull up, fresh and ready to go. <laughs> so I walk <laughs> in the house. So we chilling in the, in the living room at first. Yeah. Um, we smoking weed. Uh-huh. Back then, this was when um, Hennessy and Hypnotic okay. called Incredible Hope. Okay. You ever had that drink? <laughs> Never. Oh, girl, you living. <laughs> so Hennessy and Hypnotic. Um, Hypnotic. So we smoking, we drinking. He keep walking to the back of the house. Okay. And I'm like, okay, what the f- is back there? So mm-hmm. he walking back. He coming like, you good? I'm like, you know, yeah. And like, but sit down. Yeah. So I sit down for a little bit. We kicking and we chilling. He getting me high f-ed up. So the last time he went to the back of the house, I'm like, something is back there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm so nosy and I'm so observant. I'm a Libra. So I'm like, I'm gonna tiptoe back there and see what's the team. Yeah. I tiptoe to the back of the house and I can hear like three phone in there. And they what? they like debating on who's going first. What? 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 And what, I was what, like, what, 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 what? Hold on, I didn't sign up for a motherfucking gangbang. Yeah. I gagged. When and I tell you And that's what they intended on doing. Yes. I was listening. When I tell you I tiptoe back to the front, <laughs> snatched my purse and Hit it. Oh my gosh. Jesus By the time I hit Christ. it, got in the car and crunk it up and was pulling off, he was blowing my phone up like, no, don't ever call him. You don't just that's crazy. volunteer no 
Oh, no, gang bang. You know? And That's I was scary. young. That's scary. That's kind of scary. Yeah, you tell me, you know, what, what's what. And and I was so, I think I was probably, I wasn't even in, I don't think I would have been down for no fucking gang bang. Yeah. Anyway, it's like, no. Damn. If anything, me and my girls are the gang banging. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> that is scary. That's that was scary. so scary. That's scary. Oh, I don't like that. I'm glad you got out of there. Yes. Scott free. My God. Um, what about what about one of the best like casual hookups? <laughs> um, you've been in threesome. Yeah. Was that any good? It was fun. Yeah. Me and my best friend. Okay. Shout out to half position. Shout out to Tyra. Tyra. We did it. Like, <laughs> you um, did it. That was fun. I think my best one was the first time I had topped this boy. Okay. And I was gagging because he was so f masculine. That's like, I, it's so many different levels to yeah. being gay and stuff. Of course. Because he was so masculine. He was raw, long dress, like Bob Marley, smooth, clean cut, all that. Okay. So I'm thinking, girl, um, <laughs> it's about to go down. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I could just tell by like the energy. Yeah. I was like, oh, I think. Um, he went a little bang bang choo choo train, <laughs> and I was like, "Well, f it, f it. <laughs> I did it. It was so fast. I really, was like, oh you my loved God. it. You loved it. Yeah, I did. But I don't. It's not like it has to be like a certain type of boy. I feel True. like you know, yeah, like absolutely. a big tattoo. It's like, oh boy, yeah. uh -huh. but he was like, kind of like he was just raw. He was soft. He was like, oh, smooth. love he that. Dress. He was just ah, uh. love that. So, but you... it was so funny at that time. Him, he was like, okay, my turn. I was like, baby, I'm already. <laughs> it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> I don't play that. You gonna have to. You ready to get I it? No. Are I, you like that? Uh, look, girl. I tell you. That's it, right? Honey, I, 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 I said everybody I hook up with. They say you don't want me to because the the moment come, I have, I karate chop you out the door. Yes, that is a wrap. It's a wrap. I'm literally. Yes. Pointing to the door. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. So I usually don't ever. Oh my god! Really? It's so funny. A lot of people are like that. Yeah, because I want to. You know what I want? I want to. As you go, as you leave my house, I want to still want you. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. But I luck up and get a lot of boys that are pleasers. Oh, that's great. So yeah. a lot of boys don't really care about I think I put on like a show for them. It's just like, Fierce. I'm just. Fierce. That's fabulous. Yeah, it's the, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I definitely, uh, I don't love selfish lovers, you know? And then like um, people who are just trying to get a nut. It's yeah. It's like, it's kind of like, it's a cooperative thing we're doing. You uh -huh. gotta like wanna, I don't know. That's nice to hear. So you just, are you, your verse, you're like open-minded. I wouldn't put a label on it. I would say like open-minded, mm -hmm. but go with the flow. Yeah, it just it depends on. I'm like open-minded, but it just depends on. I just feel yeah. like the vibe. Like you gonna know the vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. That but makes I'm not sense. out looking for the bottoms. <laughs> All right, but not you know, in this I'm town. A, you won't. Yeah, I'm open-minded. They'll take like, you this know. whole. See that couch you're sitting on? Mm -hmm. They want that up there. Oh. Uh huh. And that oh, wouldn't yeah. that wouldn't even be tight. It wouldn't even like be. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna see real tight. Mine is tight. Like you couldn't get a finger up there. Mm-hmm. And that's a <laughs> bus real fast. So I'd have to throw it back for like five minutes. It's like, oh. it's like yeah, get up. <laughs> it's over with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the people, uh, you know, it's kind of incredible. I have a lot of uh, friends that do porn here in LA and many bottoms, mostly bottoms. And But that bottom doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what they're capable of. Yes. Black hole would be more more um, accurate it because they could suck hurt. all this furniture and this entire building up into their ass. They don't even my feeling it. It stomach hurt. That is just insane. Like. This, I was at dinner and these guys, were, these guys were from Spain visiting and they were saying that one guy was doing f***ing, right? And he, this guy, so it's not for me yet, but... um. <laughs> he was he had the guy up to the wrist or the past the wrist, and then he did this kind of like spinal movement and sucked his all arm into the shoulder up into his old girl. What the? F uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Next subject. I, I gotta, <laughs> I'm gonna, oh my god! Be, then you become the like you be. It's not. It's not sex. It's CSI Miami. Yes, yeah, you know like, what I mean. I don't even know how people. I I, I don't give a f how calm how many. F -ers. Yeah. At this point, you are conscious. Uh, hello, and also, have a shoulder like, up your. I showed up. That means you are. Huh? It's the coroner. <laughs> it's like you're our, now. You're a medical examiner. Yes. And you didn't go to medical examining school. Mm -hmm. You just got hoodwinked and bamboozled into be doing an autopsy. Oh yes. It's oh my like God. it's crazy. <laughs> it's well, yeah. I mean, I can't believe the person he made it out of there alive. Both of them did. So that's that's fierce. Um, speaking of that, um, let's play a little game called asshole or not. I'm gonna name some behaviors and topics, and we're going to decide if it's an asshole thing to do or not. Okay. I mean, Meaning bad. Um, so here we go. Now, or not, telling people you're taken when you're not, uh, when they ask you out, just because it's an easy way to shut them down. 
No, I don't think that's me. No, I think it's fine too. Yeah. I mean, it's an easy breezy. Just, I'm not available. Mm -hmm. Not available. Asshole or not, using your face card to get free drinks and meals on dates with no intention of pursuing anything further. Period. <laughs> Yeah. It's hard Sound like there. tricking one on one in this economy. Yeah. Yes, the I'm face card must Spanish, be swiped. So yeah, <laughs> swipe that card. Yeah, swipe the card. I agree. <laughs> I've done that a few times. I agree. And listen, if somebody has the money, they want to do it. I can't fight that. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I used to pay a lot of money for Chatterbait models, so I ain't getting nothing Hello. to talk about. Um, okay. Uh, people are not pursuing straight men. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. They're predictable. It is They're so easy. Fun. Yeah. And it's just the thrill. I feel like now more so that I'm older, mm -hmm. um, I don't take it serious. Okay. I think before when I was younger, dealing with download men and dealing with the trade, and you know, I lost my virginity to trade. Now, for the and the listeners at home who don't know what trade is, can you describe? Trade is a download man. Okay. And download means a not out. Not out. Yeah, download, yep. not in the closet. Mm -hmm. If y'all don't know that by now, you ain't the wrong podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost my virginity to the trade and. I was so heartbroken. Oh, gosh. And um, at first, I thought, like, maybe the wasn't hitting. <laughs> and then once I just dealt with download men later on, later on, I just realized, you know, they still, like, in their own head. It's yeah. like, yeah. they might do it and they like, uh, like, you know, it's it's just kind of finicky. So yeah. now I'm messing with download boys. I feel like you don't you don't really take anything serious. You know, you just have fun. You just yeah. have fun. Easy, breezy, it. beautiful. Easy, breezy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or not, uh, dating someone because of their connections or their social circle? I think that is so f late. And that's okay. why, especially me with dating, I make sh I feel like a lot of um, times people assume because um, I'm famous, mm -hmm. or I remember back then it was like no fats, no fins oh, and God. stuff. Right. And so a lot of people be getting f that um, be dating me for some type of gain or some type of coin, and b I don't play that. I yeah. My hand is always out. If you ain't got no money, I'm an evil bitch. Oh my God, my face balled up like I got pepper in my nose. So it's like, you know, I just think that's so late because even before I was famous, I always got through the door with just being myself. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And so um, I even, I even, um, what, what, <laughs> what? I got like this boy I talked to or whatever. Um, and he's so different, but he, he really gags. He was like, you really like me. I was like, I really do. Like, I really do like him. Mm -hmm. I love him. He's so cool to me. Mm -hmm. And um, he was just gang, like, you know, like, D like, who is a mother superstar? Like, you must hear it. And I'm just like, yeah, you just gotta, it's an easier connection when you just like people for themselves mm -hmm. and what, you know, they could bring to the table. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's so lame this, trying to like get a leg up for the relationship. Yeah. It's like, oh, Cause if, get cause if I even get the gist that, or I feel like you're dating me for some type of social media game. I'm gonna, you're you're gonna be embarrassed. I'm yes, gonna, I'm gonna drag your. <sighs> you gonna be known for a girl. Thank she, God. she dogs him. She dogs that boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> you'll be like, everybody be picking at you when I go in your favor. Okay, or not having a sugar daddy and hiding it from your friends and family. Ah, uh, no. What the talk about that? It ain't your business. Funny, uh, if an old uh, for this kid. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it it ain't really nobody's business. Hey. Okay. Bill. Yes, I know that very Bill. well. I love Bill. it. Yeah. Girls like money. Um, you swept your car three times last week. Yeah, oh, so Bill. good. God, I love her. Um, hooking up in a friend's bed without telling them. Oh, girl, please. What? I'll tell you, it's like, girl. You can change the sheets. Yeah. <laughs> but hooking I up. I love though, because like, that's a privacy. I be yeah. my yeah, but also, that, if you're going to hook up in the friend's bed, like, they better not be in there, and then you got to change the sheets. Yeah, change the sheets. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's not okay. Okay. Yeah, I definitely got busted out of my homeboy bed. It was fab. Really? What kind of bed you got? I'm looking for a new bed. Um, I got a big king size bed, but you have to um roll like tumbleweed, boo. What? A what? Mm -hmm. I got a big like king size bed. Yeah, you love that. It was so funny because I was just messing with this boy and I we were so drunk high shrooms. I fell off the bed. <laughs> I fell off the you bed. Fell I the think bed. I was like, I was um, I was squatting him. Uh-huh. <laughs> And I don't know how, to, I think I was trying to like do a reverse cab girl and I. <laughs> how did you fall off the bed? I, we was f***ed up. Okay. <laughs> we was f***ed up like, we was off shrooms. We probably off two, three bottles of Don Julio. We was up. Oh my and God. I just fell. It was, it was so funny because you know like how sex is intense. It was, we just, I fell laid on the floor and we just bust out laughing for like 30 minutes. Oh, seconds. I love that. That's so it bad. was really like, it was somebody was just like. I was kind of embarrassed a little bit, but... Oh, that's fierce. Girl, we got right in the business. 
Oh my god, I'm spilling all my tea. No, please. That's what we want. We didn't want to. Yeah, no tea with holding. Mind you, I have no shots. I'm no. off the chain, huh? Off the chain. We set up a voicemail for Grinder users to call and share their very own who's whole stories. Let's have a listen to see if we can shed some light on their situations. So this shaped phone is gonna. Hello. I met up with a guy who wanted to come and hang out and have some fun with me. I felt a little bit bad because he looked slightly different from his pictures. Uh, his hair was kind of like a crunchy noodle. And when he said that he cleaned out for me, he actually did not. Oh, so no. as soon as he got to the gate and we almost had some type of fun, I could immediately smell him and I just said, hey, you go home. Noodle. He got upset saying I wasted his time. But I don't know. You don't look what you say and he kind of shit on me. So, yeah. Am I Okay, I say no. He's not the tall. The other guy's No, but he's a dummy. Okay, why is that? Once, I never forget. See, I was really off the chain. Okay. I had met this boy. Um, clearly, he was a man. <laughs> but the picture was, he was like tattoo, mm. six pack, gold teeth, fresh haircut. He was so fine. He pulled up to my house. When he pulled up, I told him to meet me on the curb. I was staying with my mom at the time. Okay. She was out of town. I was like, meet me on the curb. So I'm walking down the street. I got my little bag, everything. I think I had on some Adidas, some shell toes or something mm -hmm. with some little tights. And a, um, what did I have on? Like an Invader Sim shirt and a jean jacket. You know, that's how gays used to dress back in the days. Mm -hmm. It was like tights and combat boots. Mm -hmm. Had my little bag. So I walk up to his car. I'm like, okay, it's a Dodge Magnum. It's tinted windows, all that. I promise you, I got in the car and it was like a dark skinned, bald head, 40 something year old man. What? I gagged. But I'm quick on my feet. So I was okay. like, um, oh, baby, what's up? Like, you know, I'm interested. Because yeah. I know as soon as I get in the car, he knows, okay, you know I'm not that boy that I sent you. Mm -hmm. So I play it cool. Oh, my God, I was in so many dangerous situations. Thank Damn. God. <laughs> um, so I'm like, um, oh, baby, I left something um, that I need for tonight. It's just right here in the house. I'm finna, I'm, I'm finna run and get it. Literally, I got out the car. You know, I had hugged him, gave him a kiss on the cheek. You know, real warm. Mm -hmm. I got out that car. I had tiptoe up the block a little bit, and then once I got, because I had not parked on the curb, and how my mama um, house was, it was like a circle of houses. Mm -hmm. So once I got kind of where he couldn't see me, damn, I took off running. I ran in the house, locked all the doors, and I went upstairs in my mama room and washed out the window. He was he circled that block for like thirty minutes, blowing oh up my, my phone. God. I was like. I'm not that's going so out. scary. Not, that's not even you. That's so, so scary. Oh my god. For me, once it's like you stink. Ew, you're stinky. Yeah. You like your head, before we even get to if you cleaned out or not, you're just not who you are. Yeah. Right, and, right, right. And, and I don't remember him saying anything that made him still want to go with it, right? No. But he's definitely not. A no, get your ass up out of here. Yeah. But she's dumb. That's it, crazy. It, it wouldn't even got that far. Yeah, yeah you painted me. That the whole not I've noticed with the straight guys the not they're not cleaning out seems to be a a, a constant issue. Wait, was he was he straight? Oh no, I don't know. No, it wasn't. It was just, real? no, but just the straight guys. It's like oh my god, just because you're horny doesn't mean your is clean. Mm -hmm. You know. Anyways, okay. I remember when I was younger though, my my best friend in high school had mm -hmm. to tell me about um like and stuff because mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about that. I just thought like they don't teach you in high school. Yeah, I just thought you like maybe use the bathroom or something before you. And I had never painted nobody, so I was mm -hmm. like, I don't know. Yeah. And then my friends, I started seeing all kind of um bleak bottles everywhere. I was uh, like, oh, okay. They need to really like. Oh, and my best friend, Ooh. he's so ghetto in mm -hmm. jail. They use a water bottle. Oh, fear. So he taught me the water bottle. How did you do that? You just take a water like, bottle up. Your yeah, and like you, I guess when you push, you, and then. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Listen, so the they they need to devote at least two semesters in high school to like. Yeah, because sex mean, ed just was for straight straight. Yeah, sex. and even then, and I mean, we was already gay in high school. I feel like. Hello, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Did you have gay people in your high school? Um, I did. It was so funny because my best friend was gay first, and I was still trade. So he would be so mad when oh. I would still be, um, mm. you know, giving my trade. He would mm. be like, "You're gay." <laughs> when did you just go? When did you come out? Um, I came out at 17. I said I was bisexual. Me too. Because first. I said bisexual would kind of just open the door. Yep. That's exactly Girls what with a freaky 
this girl still wanted to talk to me. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my God, I just like admit it. I like boys. Hello. Uh, yeah. And they were still like, I don't care. And I even just now, like I still see um I just um I just was looking on Twitter, like it was two guys um and a girl mm-hmm. and a two gay boys and a girl doing a threesome like girls are really, you know, be into some Yeah. Shit. Did you date girls ever? Yeah, I dated girls. Yeah, yeah. Um and so at seventeen, once I was bisexual and girls still wanted to talk to me, I started dressing really Okay. And then once it was like, okay, you got a full face beat on at school, blue eyeshadow up to here, pink lipstick. I think Nicki Minaj was like the Barbie back then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like pink lipstick. Um, and there, nobody gave you any uh, grief at school? Oh, yes. Oh, they did? Yes. Um, and my mom would have the teacher's call home if I because I would leave the house without makeup and I would do my makeup at school. Oh, they didn't like that. Yeah. And then um, I would kind of wipe it off before I got home. Oh, I And see. so she would have the teacher's call if I had makeup on. Oh, um, so my teacher used to be hating on me. It was so funny because I remember my mom used to be cussing me out. She used to be like, um, that is horrible. Like, really? And I used to be like, girl, you hating on me. Yeah. But no, back then the makeup really was bad. <laughs> like it was like blue eyeshadow all was she wearing, the way so the... Was she hating because it was bad makeup or was it just makeup in general? Both. Both. It okay. was like, okay, I already don't want you wearing wear makeup and you look a fool. Okay. La la. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> and so, but it's so funny because once I master makeup, mm-hmm. who calling my phone for a face beat? The mother. <laughs> now, oh, I'm that's so with, funny. Like my whole family that's out because I en- ended up becoming a makeup artist. Yeah. And so I used to do my whole family. I was like, oh, y'all used to be popping that shit when I didn't know what I was doing. Fierce. Mm-hmm. Do you have? Do you ever watch like beauty influencer makeup videos on YouTube? Yes, it's all over TikTok. Like literally on my Instagram and TikTok, it's always gonna be a face beat pop up. Yeah. And it's so funny because makeup is still evolving yeah. so it's still so many different ways to like I just learned maybe last year a different technique on how to do um, my concealer and stuff so okay, fierce. it's like yeah that's that's heavy on my timeline yeah it's, it's like uh, it seems like there's a my friend was explaining to me there's a lot of trends the, the way beauty and makeup goes it's like um, you know tons of tons of makeup and big eyelashes will be in and then it kind of swings back to like a clean face or whatever yeah. and it's just kind of when fascinating I, when, I, when I first 2018, 19-ish, mm. the 25 millimeter lashes were a big thing. Is that like a 301? Um, oh my God, I don't know because it is so many numbers. Yeah. Um, I just know we it's used big to, as we, yeah, they big as okay. They would be like, tw- they would be huge. Yeah, the probably, probably three. And ones. we were all wearing me, Carisha, Jesus. all my homegirls, all this. When I look at back at my purses, I'm like, what the fuck was we doing with them big, that's cr- showgirl huge lashes. windshield wipers on. Damn, windshield and wipers. And that's so funny because that's why I always say Gays have inspired so much. Shit. Big eyelashes was for drag queens. Oh, absolutely, and also like they get. Um, my friend wears uh, probably four or five pairs. Yes, of that we. I used to see. I used to watch the drag girls. Do yeah, that. it's crazy. The big They're long so lashes heavy. and, sta- so and they're stacked up, stacked and, and stacked and um, stacked. Put them under. The mm-hmm. eyelashes, I was yep. just like, Child. and they're like, they literally like you have to put them on your eyelid because yes, they're so because heavy. they don't even because it's. Yeah. it's they're so thick, it's like yeah. four of them. They're like, if you put them on your actual lashes, and you have to actually below. put a big, a lot of eyeliner so that you oh, can, yeah. you you can't see the black. Yep. Okay. One more call. Let's hear it. Let me my phone, please. Hello. Hello. Grab that. <laughs> so I once had this work friend. Uh, we are no longer friends, but we both had boyfriends, and we were both in open relationships. So. Basically, this work friend tells me that his boyfriend is interested in me and wants to hook up with me. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm down. He, this work friend, is also interested in hooking up with my boyfriend, so he wants to play this sort of boyfriend exchange program thing. I'm like, sure, yeah, I'm down. I mean, I'm down for your boyfriend if he's down for me, but you'll have to check in with mine to see if he's down for you. Um Fast forward like a week or so, I end up sleeping with his boyfriend. He finds out uh, and gets really, really pissed at me and is out with some friends. He like ends up bringing my boyfriend back to the apartment where he and his boyfriend live. So now me and work colleague's boyfriend are in his bed and work colleague and my boyfriend are out in the living room and work colleague and my boyfriend are like, trying well work colleague is like trying to f- my boyfriend he wants nothing to do with him he leaves um and then basically the work colleague never talked to me again for sleeping with his boyfriend even though 
he told me that I could and suggested it and was like totally cool with it, given the fact that they were open. Am I the asshole here? Should I have played this in a different way? Or, I mean, I don't know. I think that this guy gave me the green light to boyfriend. And so that's exactly what I did. And I don't really feel bad about it. And yeah. I don't really feel like I am guilty in this situation. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I think he's not. I don't think he's a this is not my problem. I didn't want you. Right. <laughs> you gave me the green light. I told you that we could True. swap it out. I said, yep. you would have to check in with my boyfriend to yep. see if he's with it. Yeah. And um, he, with it. he wasn't with it. Yeah. But do not get mad when your boyfriend go and somebody no. else because you did that's what, the work Kylie boyfriend that's why I just say don't do it and like don't suggest yeah, it. it's don't not a good it. idea it's not a good it's idea not. just don't be boyfriends then yeah. he's obviously don't want a boyfriend that bad you yeah. know if you're not like willing to be kind of if, you, if you're gonna get jealous if you're gonna be open and you get jealous what are you doing yeah what are you doing okay so time for the moment of truth saucy mm -hmm. do you have any who's the <laughs> dating or hookup stories for the group um, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you wondered who was the this is something I can think of off the top of my head. I mm. know I've had like maybe two potentials. Okay. I think I kind of agreed to both. Okay. And then it's just like, you know, whichever, you know, comes first. Okay. Okay. And so it's like, you know, I agree to both of them. Oh, double booked. Yes, I'm double booked. Okay. And, and then they like, both show up? I chose one. I, I chose, of course, like, you know, the one you already here. Let's get it on. Mm -hmm. And one thing about me, I'm a ghost. Like, I'm going to throw my phone in a garbage and never answer it. So, so, literally, like, be in a parking lot, like, bro, what the? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, baby, you snooze, you lose. Yeah, that's right. I mean, also, like, um, that kind of double booking is born out of flaking because everybody flakes. You, It's like, well, you might as well book two because chances are only one of them show up. Yeah. Yeah. So. I see both of them did. Yeah. Well, whatever. Was I? that um maybe but should i have the above for them in the same night i think maybe yeah <laughs> I, you gotta stagger you gotta stagger the, the appointments <laughs> oh my god see like the only i've had this is a it's always been a little awkward I, I had a situation where i did i was in drag hooking up and then i i i did the double booking and i tried to stagger them uh -huh. and they've overlapped a little bit oh and yeah and then, then they think i'm a yes which, which is fine but then it's that there's not i don't it's not a very like wonderful situation where you're like you're walking into a hookup and you're like basically in a deli line uh -huh. you know like one you know the customer comes out you go in it's like a house oh wow but they didn't seem to like that very much but say so me so <laughs> 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 so homophobia in the rap world talk about it it's definitely real i run into the streets okay um i grew up middle class okay so i feel like a lot of times i always you know say i'm a hood from ghetto, but um, I didn't grow up like that. Okay. Um, once I turned maybe like about 15, 16, I'm like, okay, mom, I want to go to the projects. <laughs> For real. I want to, I think I started smoking black and mad hopes. Like, I wanted to see the streets and I right. wanted to see the hood and, right. you know, just what what was the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Like I told you earlier, I started dressing at 17. So already being in those hood spaces, I remember we used to have like a sidewalk. We used to walk up and down the um, road to the projects. It used to be a park um, right down the road. My <laughs> cutters on, <laughs> my crop tops, my face beat. I'm just yeah. giving it to them. Yeah. Um, and I used to cause a up and roar. Oh my god. And um, were you I just, scared? No. No, at all. I was me. I was free. I didn't give a fierce. And so. Um, I went through so many different things with like, you know, dudes in the hood and just people feeling like you ain't po you ain't can't be in this space, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that, you gotta care that sh you know, yeah. somewhere else. They wasn't having it. And I was standing my ground like, no, yes I am. I'm gonna be wow. right out here at the gambling house with y'all at the poker house. Everybody trapping doing their thing, I might have doing my thing, y'all not gonna stop me. Wow. And um, you know, I gained, you know, my credentials and you know, I started gaining my respect slowly wow. but surely in the streets. Okay. And so coming into rap, um, I was strategic. I said, I'm going to rap from a girl standpoint. Right. Um, ever since I was a kid, I remember my mom used to be so mad. I order my food from McDonald's, and they'd be like, a girl toy? She'd be like, no, that's a boy. Okay. Because my voice was always fish. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was like, I'm going to rap from a girl standpoint. Okay. And um, I remember when my song came out, 
it went viral. It did like a million plays in a week, but it wasn't a face to whose was the song. Okay, right, right. And so by the time, you know, um, I was already kind of getting popular, but everybody heard the song, didn't necessarily know who's, who's this, this. So I remember once I shot the music video, everybody was like, what the f***? This is a game. I'm like, ha ha, too late. <laughs> Y'all already love it. Y'all already, Y'all love, the already song. love it. So too. Oh my and god, that's I, brilliant! I remember when I first started getting booked, I did late. straight venues. Get the I out had. Are more, you serious? I had more straight bookings than gay clubs. I promise. you. Well, you know what? That does not surprise me. That doesn't surprise me at all. Because I, I, something I, about gay fans are they're. A, I don't know. It's girls. Okay. Girls love the gays. Yeah. And dudes is following what girls at. Okay. The gay venues, you know, like. And most of the time, too, gay venues are small yes, in any of course. city. Yeah, it's yeah. it's the a gay thousand small. straight clubs, and it's like a few couple of gay yeah, clubs. Totally. So if you're lucky. I have reached the masses of women and little kids. Like, mm. you know, so your kid is running around. So they walk him like a dog, walk mm. him like a dog. So now the girls are in love with it now. Mm. Dudes are running up to me like, man, my ba-. still to this day. You know way, fierce. I pull a lot of trade like that. <laughs> uh, you walk him like a dog, mama, too. Oh, my baby mama. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. She, she does. <laughs> Let's do chat. their voice again. Do their voice again. She, she does. does. <laughs> so it's like, you know, let's chat. Um, and so. Hello. It was, y- yes. <laughs> and so um, uh. that was my that was my strategy. Uh-huh. And um now going into rap, um going to rap, like you know, I remember um 2019, 2020, I couldn't be in certain rooms. Mm. Um dudes was like, nah. They're not feeling it. We not jacking that. Um and not necessarily rude to me, but you could just feel the energy. Of course. Oh, you know, yeah, and totally. just being around dudes and stuff. And so, um, hmm. one thing about me, once you be around me, people love me. Mm-hmm. So, and I've been around street dudes and, mm-hmm. you know, hood and hyper masculine yep. boys. And I, my game plan was I was always mean, I was stiff. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times men have a stigma that gays are going to come around and, oh, that's like your. Oh, and we're gonna start twerking all that, and I would be in the room like, I hate you. You couldn't, yeah, you you couldn't dream of it. You could never touch me, yeah. And once my accolades started speaking for me, I had so many different men in rap, like, bro, keep going, bro, really. Hey, we want oh, Santana, tell Santana to come to the party, man. Oh, like, my gosh. Drake done FaceTime me with um, Carisha, like, bro, I live, like, Jack Harlow. I get, I get so, so much respect from different dudes outside now, like, Almost because you know they've been around. They like you know what you do. You you yeah, respectful. Yeah. You ain't yeah, doing yeah. nothing crazy. But yeah. you ain't. I'm I'm still always gonna be me. Right. And I said it. I'm not getting around. No acting trade. I'm not. Oh, oh I'm. Hey. I'm. Hello. What's up? <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing? For real? Yeah. Pass the mic. Like <laughs> I'm still giving. I'm still giving me so. Yeah. Um, you know, That's it's incredible. still. It's I still got you know a long way to go because especially too. Um. The older generation, uh-huh. like rappers that's from the '80s, and oh. they still not having it. No, well, like you know, that was that was a whole different era. So yeah, '90s is kind of all right, but you know, I'm still I'm still working, but I get a lot of respect. That's it. That's so encouraging to hear. I'm so glad. Yeah, because I, oof, God, I can't even imagine. Gay is so regular now. It's so it's corny. It's, it's even. so regular it's tired. now. Like you turn on your TV, gay everywhere. It's gay everywhere. It's just not necessarily reality shows. Is gay. Yeah. Cartoons is gay. <laughs> Everything is gay. I literally just um, see my homegirl said she was reading her child a short story and she had to explain to her child why two men were holding hands and had a baby. Mm-hmm. So I was like, dang, that's crazy. Gay is really it's everywhere. Kind of so, <laughs> yeah. you know, a lot of people are kind of like, hi, hey, this, you know. This, there wasn't any gay know, that was going on. You know, on. this is what it is. Yeah. Um, but you still have to know how to carry yourself and how to maneuver yeah. um, around these people and keep yourself safe. Of course. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just not... Washing up into no set. Like, I'm gonna always be me and I always got my security. He don't play no games. <laughs> but, um, you know, I be chilling. Awesome. That's great to hear. You know, I remember being in sixth grade and when people thought you were gay, the ugliest <laughs> would look at you and be like, You wanna suck? I was like, No, gay nobody Bitch, wanna nah. suck your. And not, that's not what made me so, or, no, that's what made me so mad when, like, growing up, I'm like, Boy, what would make you thought it was you? Honey, you'd be lucky if a <laughs> crab sucked you. Okay, like, you know? and it- be, you stick <sighs> in the fish tank and the fish gonna suck it. Hello, like so crazy. People really, yeah, and, they're really and, wild. And that's with that. why I was always so mean because of the stigma that yeah. gays gonna try you or we are just these horny beast. Girl. Like it is not that bad. No. Trust me. The person accusing people of that is gotta look at their own 
stuff. Doing they're... like a show on self. It was so funny because I love and hip hop. They was cussing out um, Young Jock because he said he went perform at a gay um, club, uh-huh. and the gays was like, "Bitch, <laughs> uh, <laughs> as if, yeah, like, <laughs> what, <laughs> what you think we gonna do to you?" <laughs> and I, it was, I was, it was so funny because I was like, I was like, I yeah, love you that. Afraid, like, uh, yeah. A lot of these, also, days, you know. You know what? Also, the thing is, is that these days as well, ain't nobody trying it like that with anybody. Yeah. You got to watch out for the straight guys. There's, 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 it's, it's all a distraction from the straight guys and the young girls. Uh huh. Because those are the real. Those pedos are always be trying it. Yes. And then, like, they always be trying it, and they're happy to have a, any distraction around that. That you know, the real, pe- the real people to be afraid of are always behind the scenes, not making mm-hmm. a fuss. And it's that's the scary. Yeah, ooh, that's true. So. Well, there you have it, girls, gays and days, everything in between. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Hopefully, we've helped you clean up your a- I mean, <laughs> act. Just a little bit. Make sure to subscribe to Who's the a- wherever you get your podcast so you don't miss our next episode. And lastly, if you have an a- story to share, call our hotline at 510 a- and let us have it. I'm Katya, and I'll see you in your hole next time. Thank you, Saucy. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Have a lovely day. Thank you.